Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Oscar coming to you with another new episode in my series. Let's play Life is Futile, Your Own. So I've been quite busy after uh, since the last episode. Um, I've got uh, the biggest part of the um, components needed for the buildings here in my village done. Um, so I'm just gonna show you right now how to how they look when they are done. The remaining ones. Uh, gonna start with the uh, with the big stone house. Going to build it, hammer all this stuff in, which may take some time, some a few attempts. Yep. Because this one uh, the. The actual living house is one of the things you want to start finishing kind of first because it offers a respawn point. So if you are, I don't know, out hunting, gathering resources further away and so on, uh, you can just load up your inventory in the end of nowhere and then pray your way home. But you can't do this without a house. Uh, a tiny shack, plaster shack, wooden shack, whatever, would do as well, but um, yeah, it won't fit into the idea, the concept I have for this town. This one should be kind of nice in case I get some people playing on the server, maybe even some groups of people playing. This one will be like the capital town. So yeah, my living house. Oh, it's really big. Right at the gates. So let's check the inside. First of all, set up my home. So, oh, actually, nine room left. So nine more people can find here, which is awesome. Uh, where is the construction inspect? Well, I'll just check the durability uh, to get some sort of indicator how high the or how good the quality is. 16.4k, not so bad, 80-ish quality I think, could it be? So let's, let's check the inside. So I most likely will never go inside again, but anyhow, so I just want to see. Actually they did a quite nice job with the artwork here, with this little wardrobe thingy, uh, those carvings and paintings on the wall. Quite nice, quite nice, liking it. Well, no doors here, doors here. <laughs> Should be... Is there a stairway? Ah, there's a stairway up. It's actually really, really, really nice, my little balcony thingy up here. Looking at the stables, oh, I really like it. Also, I kind of like the placement of it. Yep, yep, I'm happy. So, top level. Oh, a little attic kind of thing. Another room over here. Can go okay. Um, well, anyhow, let's look into the other stuff, shall we? So, um, what else do I do? We got here? A warehouse, another one, zip, 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 yep, thing in. And that's another warehouse here. So with the other things, do I have the stuff in the stable? No, I'm short on the straw, but I have already the straw going for the first barn, which I want to build kind of first and fast, because um, this one will be the place where I'm, where I'm going to breed sheep in for wool. And well, it will take some time to I grow up. So the other barn and stable, it's a small and big stable, will still uh, does do still need some uh, stuff, mainly uh, straw. 
which I'm going to look into later on. Herbalist is missing clay tiles. Um, 140 tiles. I think it was one. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, move out. Get some clay, real quick. Get on the horsey. So yeah, um, all coming up quite nice. This as far as I'm concerned. There's some clay. It's actually been a while that, since I've uh, built in the first uh, uh, buildings and added the most of the resources. I actually just. Uh, had to add all the uh, building locks yesterday, had to chop down like 40-ish uh, uh, oak trees, quality 100 ones all, and kind of owe some deer over here, and uh, yeah, spent <laughs> really hours uh, carrying the building locks from A to B, and the, yeah, took some time. Even so much stuff. Oops, that's the clay thingy here. Ah, God damn it! Can I? Yeah. Okay. Um. Shit, six hundred forty clay. I think it was. I need. Flatten. Oh, I hate that you can't turn around anymore with first uh, while crafting stuff. It's, uh, yeah. What the fuck is uh, going on with a forest floor over here? Is it over the clay? God damn it. Uh. Hmm, how are we doing this? Uh, first of all, get rid of the dirt. More like here. Yep. Uh, always keep in mind, if you want to get rid of stuff, just double click it. Drop is the default action on all kinds of soil, rock, clay and whatnot. So let's see if I can get some clay directly over, like here. Uh, this could do. Alright, there we go. Let's see. 120, and this next one will be 180. So enough. And well, I will burn it again. Snail speed. Ah, god damn it! I forgot to. I know I have bound to my horse, so I just can fall on my ass. <coughs> oh no, that's not good. Oh come on! Oh dear, that's. Oh god damn! <coughs> That's a uh, glitchy game is glitchy. Yeah, they uh, <clears throat> look at all the skills going down. Yeah, listen. <sighs> so, yeah, that's my house, and now I'm really slow. No, not really slow, but I'm burning through my stamina now really, really fast. Uh, yeah, okay, gonna make a little cut here while I'm getting back to my horse and stuff, and... Yeah. And I'm we back again. Um, I've got right now all the stuff, all the tiles, the unfired cl uh, clay tiles here in the kiln. Waiting 
for them to get heated up. I'm wondering why nothing happens. I'm actually <laughs> concerned if I'm doing something wrong. If the temperature isn't right, I might as well heat this up fully. I actually need 1500 degrees. Hello, Ricky. Just checking on my other screen. Okay, according to the wiki, 1000 degrees should be enough anyhow, so I've got plenty of charcoal, so nothing going to waste here. So, what's going to happen off screen until the next episode? comes or the next building episode that is um, gonna uh, make this farm here going again you see these uh, um, areas around here uh, which are uh, unfertile soil I had uh, farms over here previously there's some fertile soil with low quality or lowish quality so I need to plow all this area here and uh, fertilize it again. Already got the stuff here from my first town. Got plenty of uh, dung to fertilize and a lot of wheat seeds here. Quality 35. Okay, <coughs> anyhow, so I'm gonna stick to those since the uh, quality of the straw or the components in general for the um, stables isn't that important. The uh, outcome of breeding animals is uh, determined by skill and by the food you give to the animals and since I have no decay here on this server the durability is uh, a non-issue so I can use lower quality stuff. So um, anyways I gotta plant uh, all the stuff, uh, the 40 wheat over here to get a ton of straw. Going in total, I'm going to need, I think, 350. It's a 250 straw for the large stable, and then again 50 for the barn and 50 for the uh, other small stable. Gonna do all that off camera, as well as I'm going to uh, yeah, get some of the remaining missing components together. Some building locks are missing because I ran out of trees yesterday. <coughs> yeah, I ran out of trees yesterday. Um, and also need a bit more mortar. Gonna look into the, all that off camera and well, the next episode after this one uh, will be about uh, some taming stuff and things. Um, gonna go around and get all the animals together for my stable area mainly some sheep to get wool yeah that's it for this oh no still got the stuff here going um, and killing how far am I uh, not even a bit more than halfway done um, show you how the herbalist shop is finished. Uh, actually can I finish that warehouse over here? I should be able to. Uh, uh, okay, let's finish this one real quick. So I see lots of stuff going on and happening here in my little village. Uh, if you want to join me, not in this village, but on my server, you can just drop me a message or a comment in this video here on YouTube. Um, if you have my details already, you can contact me on Steam or on Facebook on my yeah, private site that some of you may know my Facebook can contact me there as well. Um, if you want to join, you need to have uh, TeamSpeak 3 installed and a working mic, mic. And you also need to be aware of that some of the stuff um, that you are saying on TeamSpeak will be published on YouTube. So uh, 
yeah, you have to be able to watch your language, so to say. Don't swear all the time. Also, I'm not going to allow, allow any form of griefing on this server. There will be PvP with some roots, but no griefing. If I see people uh, exploiting, griefing, whatsoever, I will kick them right off the bat without any further warning. Ah, there we go. Great hard. Well, in general, just be be mature. Don't jerk around here. Don't be a douche. God damn it. Yeah, you may notice that I haven't played in a few days, so my fingers are a bit rusty and the normal clicking routine, so to say, is a bit off. But I'm getting there. Thing at least. The way there should be some sort of indicator how many stuff is remaining here in the kiln. I mean, I could have counted what I've pulled out, but you know what I mean. Just a just a little number in this window. Empty, manage, and since I'm talking about stuff that should be <laughs> in game, it would be nice to have an option here to light the kiln as well as extinguish the kiln here in the context menu. So, um, herbalist shop. Let's finish this one real quick. But I find something to use those as well, I think. Zit, 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 zit. Oh, and another thing I'm going to, going to build, I think in this episode or at the beginning of the next, I'm not 100% sure. It's going to be a monument. Totally forgot about this one. So, that is the Herbalist workshop. Let's check the inside. It's <laughs> a genius placement of stuff uh, here in my town. So, uh, this uh, shop basically works like a, uh, it's a better mortar and pestle. All the ingredients standing inside here, some cooking stuff, some little Mortar sending over here, some recipe books, and there are some herbs going here, some letter going nowhere. <laughs> really, again, I really, really like all the details the developers have put into this game. Thank you for that, guys. So, yeah, that pretty much wraps up this episode. Uh, as I said, if you want to join me, um, contact me via um, YouTube, Facebook, on Twitter, <coughs> wherever you have the uh, proper uh, details from me. Um, if you liked that video, of course, as always, uh, don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, it would make me really, really happy. Uh, help me and will help me actually get this channel to something nice. Okay, I've got uh, bones. Uh, okay, I'm gonna build this in the next episode since I don't have any bones around here. I'm gonna, gonna need to kill some stuff first, which will be actually the next episode, which I'm going to record in just a few minutes and which will be published, yeah, right after this. Gonna hunt some stuff, uh, look into tracking again, and tame some stuff. So if you like, uh, hit the, if you like the video, hit the like button. 
If you haven't already subscribed for more upcoming daily content on Life is Feudal, from me, Oscar. Uh, of course, you can share this video wherever you see it fitting in. Tell your friends about this, uh, put it on your guild forums, whatever. Um, yeah, that's it. See you next time. Thank you for watching. My name is Oscar. And Goodbye. I'm back. Yeah, this video is going also into the box uh, uh, section of the forum. Um, because just another rather annoying thing, somehow I've just died twice, kind of like, I don't know how exactly that happened. Um, but uh, due to dying twice, I ended up having two tombstones where my loot is in or was in. See this one and that's my, actually the stuff I have on me. And then there's another below it. And of course the uh, loot was in the lower one, which I first hadn't noticed. And uh, yeah, just uh, happened to come here and I yeah, wanted to loot my stuff, pick up my stuff again. And well, I found a empty loot bag. And first I haven't noticed the two thirds, so, thoughts, however. Um, so yeah, anyhow. So, um, I've got all the clay right now um, and gonna pray myself home again. Just make the clay tiles and finish the herbalist uh, shop real quick uh, on camera and uh, we gotta do some other. What the fuck I am? Oh, 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 oh. Damn. The problem with this uh, stumbling and not being able to get up again is uh, actually that it's uh, kind of possible to design or to make traps, kind of like uh, that, um, to get per people on purpose um, dying that way in a similar way. I'm not going to going to tell you how this actually works or could work. Because, uh, in my opinion, it's a very, very bad form of griefing other players, so I'm um, not supporting this, but, uh, yeah. Okay, manage the kiln. Got some wood in here, which takes up all the room. This in here, this in here, and... I think I've got some charcoal, it was... And you should do it. Actually forgot whether I need my smelting tool to get the clay out of here and also I'm just derping again. God damn it, I lost focus <laughs> with this little accident earlier. Um first of all of course I need to make the or to mold the clay tiles into unfired clay tiles and then toss them in the kiln. Um, okay, gotta get some water. Get this to default. Also, I kinda don't remember to remote. Unfired clay tile. Need one water per ten. So I need 18 water in total. Stupid bullets on me, which uh, weighed me down right now. Yeah, I'm getting a bit grumpy at this moment. I really hate to run into this sort of bugs and glitches and whatnot. Um,
kind of I don't know if the, it's the right word, but it's sort of depressing uh, how this really, really well and good worked out beautiful game still has uh, glitches in it like that. Um, my opinion, stuff that should be sorted by now. Also, why am I still naked? Just put my stuff back on. Uh, that. I put my bag. That uh, in the way. Okay. Also, also, I uh, really don't like the size of the or the how these hitboxes in the inventory are designed. So to say that you can kind of like not pick those eggs up here, but here you can, and you kind of tend to accidentally drag around your inventory window, which uh, is rather annoying. Uh, yeah. Mm. So we're gonna drop off the warhorse real quick, because it's a bit heavy. I might as well just put it here on the outside. Kind of like it if the livestock is yeah standing around here, so to say. Got some life <laughs> in my town. So, back to the kiln. And let's make some clay tiles. Mo ah. Mode, unfired clay tile craft. Okay, gonna make another shortcut here, um, and I'm oh back uh, kind of for the second time now. Um, well, kind of bad news. Um, while I was putting the, the video together, all the scenes and so on, um, my PC died, and yeah, somehow I don't know where and how and why. Uh, uh, but the last segment, uh, yeah, somehow <laughs> disappeared. I, I have no clue what happened. Anyhow, um, I think I stopped with the, um, putting the uh, unfired clay tiles in the, in the kiln. Well, you <laughs> uh, just uh, toss them in if you want to redo this. Um, toss them into the kiln. You need to fire it up to uh, more than 1000 degrees uh, to get the clay tiles fired. Um, take some time, then just pull them out, and then I've added them to the uh, herbalist shop. In the meantime, while they were cooking, um, I completed the warehouse over here, which will be the place for all the procuration and farming stuff, like uh, mm -hmm. hides, um, wool, cloth, and so on, uh, flax. Here is the actual herbalist shop. Uh, let us check the inside really quick. Also, I need to replace or relocate um, <laughs> this wardrobe over here. So yeah, that's the herbalist shop from the inside. Uh, you can click on it, and then this is basically the functionality of the um, mortar and pestle you got. And here, alchemy um, can mix more advanced. Um, stuff out of herbs, but I've actually never looked into this, uh, if I'm not completely wrong, my alchemy should be at like uh, zero, where is it, yeah, it's still at zero, never have done anything in this, I will look into that at some point, but yeah, not for now, lots more of other stuff to do, so, um, what else did I have in the last part? Of course, um, you can join me here on my server. I've said this several times in my previous video as well. But uh, anyhow, um, if you want to join, just leave me a message here on YouTube or write me a comment. Um, 
It will be <laughs> mandatory for you to have TeamSpeak 3 installed and also have a working microphone and you should be able to kind of watch your language because um, uh, some stuff may end up here in my on my channel and I want to have it uh, kind of, well, not uh, family friendly, but um, yeah, kind of mature, not like uh, swearing, cursing all the time, no profan the profanities. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, next video will be about uh, getting some stuff tamed up for all my uh, animal stuff in the back. After that, it will be tomorrow, I will record a episode finishing all the uh, livestock buildings, the other, the, the second barn, large stable and the small stable. I've already planted a huge bo uh, amount of wheat over here to get the straw in order to complete those and I yeah so I can get some leather and stuff um, going again this so yeah this is it for this video um, if you liked like if you liked it um, yeah please give me a thumbs up uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you, uh, we see us next time in the next video. If you want to, you can share you, this video wherever you see it fitting in. Thank you for watching. My name is Oscar. We see us next time. I hope you have a nice day.